I'm, not, I'm really social distancing. So now I'm in like a random house just, just for this live. Um, but that, that, this takeover feels like the hot mess that I am. So it's fine. It's fine. It's great. It's just, it's authentic. It's good. Authentic. It's great. It's going well. It's going well. Um, so, okay. I think I've got it. Awesome. Is there's anything else? I mean, oh, does anyone know? Uh, I love that these couple thousand people are, are like our tech support before we go and play with the adults, you know? Yeah. Um, so I, does anyone know if I save it to the I, because I think 45 minutes is going to be hard to fit everyone in. If I save it to the IGTV, then can I hop on and do another? Yeah. You I can, can just, you can just, I've done that before. I've run out of time and then I just started another one. Okay. And it's, it doesn't like save. It saves both. It'll save both. I think so. It should. I don't see why not. Okay. Do you know what's happening? I have my iPad because there's a couple people who I just couldn't talk through a live situation. So we're going to be face. I'm going to be FaceTiming a couple people oh. in because it's really hard to explain Instagram to people and live. Yeah. I've sent one yeah. photo today, red highlighting photos of what to click. And I'm like, I don't. <laughs> This is coming from someone who does, who's asked Nicole 20 questions a day. <laughs> Listen, I'm a, a, a well of knowledge and a fountain of wisdom that should be drank from. I love you so much. You're very calming to me. I was very nervous. You're going to do great. You always tell me that. You're, gonna You're doing great. amazing, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be yeah. good. And then also... If I'm on with you, let's say, I guess it's something to try now. How do I check, like, who's coming up next? Do I have to sign off and then, do you know, people? I I'm trying to do, like, an Oprah thing here, you know? Just kind of. Yeah. I think it'd probably work best if, you're like, okay, thanks. And then that person like exits out and then you just add the next person. The next person. Yeah. Mercury's in retrograde apparently because I've got also a lot of people having internet problems today. I mean, you're not, mm -hmm. you're like a queen and living your best life and ready. You've been ready to help me out since for, for 40 minutes now. I've been ready. I got my McDonald's. Ooh, what'd you get? I got a double quarter pounder with cheese. For breakfast? Oh, no, it's 2 o'clock there. Did you have breakfast, or did you just start with McDonald's today? I, I started. <laughs> your I, I've kind of gotten into, best. like, I've kind of, I'm kind of in the one meal a day. Conversations in private. It's, yeah. Petition. Generate enough online, online demand. The Nutty Professor. Someone just said, thank you. Or I could do like, totally like one of those Tyler Perry movies where I'm just like, I'm like three different characters. <laughs> I would watch that. Right? I did an interview. Well, we'll get to this on when, we, when you and I do, do our things. But so I did an interview the other day for the finale and they were like, if you could have a super suit, like what would you, what would you change? I think they meant like cool technical stuff. But I was like, Nicole has lunch in my trailer most of the times we were both working. And I see the regret on her face after she has her meal and her cookies. <laughs> so I would want, you know how in luggage, how they have like the zipper that expands the luggage for a super suit. Girl, you know me. You speak into my heart. I like, know my struggle. <laughs> you know my experience. I do. I see the pain in your eyes after every lunch where you're like, God, I shouldn't have had that third cookie. <laughs> Honey, the third cookie's fine. It's the yeah. first problem. I know. All right. Well, I, I, I love you. I could talk to you okay. all day, but I will see you in a little bit on the other, right. the other yeah. one. Yeah. Um, just text me when you want me to hop on. And I'll... I'm thinking like around 1230-ish. I'm excited. We'll have, we'll, have, we'll have a lot of people. Okay. I love when people ask season? if Nikazi was coming on. I was like, is the sky blue? Like I'm not in, in, in other news, water is wet and Nicole is stunningly gorgeous. Like facts, all of this <laughs> is facts. Like I'm not out here by myself. Yeah. Well, and Take a deep breath and let's stay calm. 
All right, I'm gonna call Katie right now. Guys! Okay, so this will be it. So you guys can see that, right? Okay. Hello! Okay, I'm gonna turn you around to my computer, which is also our wonderful kind of live fandom. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys ready? <laughs> There's my plant. <laughs> Do you see the things that we kind of make happen because uh, I, I, you're too pure to be exposed to social media? I had the thought to try to have Nicole like, um, let's see if I can do this where it's not totally, but you can see me kind of through there, right? Yeah, but I can hear you anyway yes. as well, so I can kind of see <laughs> To have Nicole and I uh, try to maybe have you sign in to like my account or something. And then we were like, Katie's, Katie's too pure for this world. She never needs to be exposed to social media ever. No, I'm just technologically stupid. <laughs> no. I, have skills. I don't know what they are, but I'm sure I have some. I love the live that you so kindly did uh, with me and Nicole and Andrea. Kind of my first episode. And then the day that Andrea was like the villain, just so like we everyone knew we were it was we're all real people and you kept looking into the camera and you were like well, where are the people <laughs> but I didn't, you said let's do an instagram live but i didn't know what that meant I was like, oh what? and so when you came up and you were talking i was like what are you doing oh my god understand. that's amazing I, do, I don't know why i assumed that you i love that you agreed <laughs> and you were like i don't i don't know but I had no idea what it was. You're so sweet. Now. And when I, when I called you to ask you to do this, I was so nervous because you're like having such a peaceful quarantine and I didn't, I don't want to bother anyone. And you, you were so sweet because you were like, I don't understand it still, but I'll do anything for you. And I was like, that's my plan. And I'm glad, you know, it's our finale and, you know, it's been a long year and it's nice to do things like this. And it's nice to see you. I know. It's nice to see you too. How have you been? How's Ashi? He's good. He's good somewhere else in the minute. I did bring him up, but then he just was looking at me and like whimpering. So I was like, maybe you don't want to be here. So I let him go. He might have, he, he might have sensed like something was happening. Cause you know, the prince, <laughs> the, the prince doesn't work or do anything unless he wants to. I mean, we're pretty much all his servants and I'm okay with that. It's true. It's true. It's fine. How's quarantining going yeah, for you? It's going okay. You know, it's, yeah. Reading a lot, and eating a lot, and drinking a lot of tea. So you know, it's not really that much change from usual, to be honest. Are you reading anything good right now? By the way, Three Women that you gave me is maybe my most favorite book ever. Isn't it wonderful? It was like having three best girlfriends that you constantly got to check in with. It was, and it's just so the way she writes is so lovely and so non-judgmental, but so compassionate. She's wonderful. Yeah. yeah, I really, really glad you liked it. What else? What else do you recommend for me for reading? For for reading right now. Yeah, um, I've been reading a lot of stuff I've read already because um, when times are so uncertain in the world, it's a bit scary. I want something comforting, so I'm reading yeah. a lot of like old favorites. But I'm not sure that there's going to be anything that you'd be interested in. Tell me, tell me what you're feeling right Wait, now. Wait, what? What are your? I'm just curious. What are your old favorites? Just for reference, because I know it's going to be. Is it like historical? Yeah. So when there's bad stuff gonna happen, you're prepped for it and it doesn't shock you. Because <laughs> life, there's a lot of stuff that's shocking and coming out of nowhere right now. And I'm, I'm, you know what? It's unsure and I'm not sure I'm done with it. So when you go back and read books you've read before, or TV shows that you want to revisit, there's something very comforting because you can prepare yourself for the worst and know that eventually you can get better. Oh my God, I love that so much. I never thought of it that way. Watching something where you already know what happens so your like nervous system can relax. I'm like, I know how it, I know what it <laughs> Can you imagine yes. how like our future children are gonna look at this time? Like, it's gonna be wild. Yeah. Crossover is happening right now. Amazing. I hope we keep doing this forever. We just keep being on this thing before I came on, and then. We shot a scene at, at the end of the season where Alex has like this dream sequence and she's throwing this like 
bad character into a cell. And then I found out later, because the stunt double had a blonde wig, that it was supposed to be your character. And I was no like, No kidding! Guys, we could have been there at the same time. We're gonna, I'm gonna make it happen. It's like meant to be. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. How's the baby? She's good. She's good. How's the kitty? She's good. <laughs> she's hiding in a paper bag right now. I gave her a paper bag yesterday, so she's so happy. I love that that's a cat toy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I accidentally saw it had bugs in it, so I was like, ah, I promised her this box. She's going to be upset, so I gave her a paper bag, and she's okay. I love that you're like, I promised my cat this thing, and she's going to be Oh, so she won't do it. You've seen her. You know. <laughs> she's very smart. Stream. Now I'm so used to it that I feel like when when everything um, you know goes back to normal, uh, I I don't know <laughs> how to leave the house anymore. <laughs> like this is I gonna mean, be weird. But you have that like Israeli work ethic. Like I I oh I can't wait to go back to work. I, I just mean like going back into crowded places. I'm like oh yeah. I was ready for you to go back to work a day after giving birth. I was like if anyone's gonna do it, it's Yael. I was I was down for that. I mean, not a day after, but you know, <laughs> like five weeks after giving birth, I actually tested for something. Oh my gosh. So you did pilot, you did a little bit of pilot season. Before. Yeah, definitely. I was, wow. I was like, I'm, I'm good. How are you missing Jane? Oh, so much. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, like everything it was bittersweet. Are you missing Jane? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I miss you, you guys are my family. Same. And well, where are you now? I am in Sedona. I just came out to Arizona yesterday to like try to get some R and R. I was in LA. I'll be here for a couple weeks and I'll go back. Um, but I was gonna say, well, we were so lucky to, you know, I love, I love uh, Supergirl, but it, it's a different transition being in Vancouver, as you know, because you shot there for the episodes. Yeah. We were so lucky to be in Manhattan Beach Studios. Wow, incredible. I know. And I don't think I knew how lucky we were until I spoke to other friends and was like, wait, you're filming in LA? Like 1% of things actually film in Los Angeles. Everything films all over the world, right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, other things yeah. I had tested for were like Albuquerque. <laughs> and like, I hear it's wonderful, but it's not, you know, home for me, which uh, LA is home for me now. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's really home for you. It's so weird because I don't know if a lot of people know that you moved for the show. You were like brand new. Oh yeah, after, actually I still wasn't living, I was still living in Israel when we shot the pilot. I moved only after the pilot got picked up and I had like two weeks to pack up my stuff and just go. I remember, and you had that like classic Mercedes car, remember that like old school car? Oh, really that... old, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna call it classic. I know, everybody was at, well I had a name for it. Yeah, let's call it classic, let's not call it like dingy. <laughs> Because you're, we didn't so know, we had no idea. So what if it was like 25 years old? <laughs> yeah. We also, we had no idea what, if it was going to do well, what was going to happen. No. And then we all thought we were going to die every day. So it, Oh yeah. And people in, you have you know, no idea how much I wanted to keep that jacket. <laughs> it was so, it was yeah. perfect for like Vancouver. I wouldn't, it wasn't winter. What was it? It was that hot. I don't remember what, what time of year it was, but um, here it would have been a, a little, a little uh, sweaty. A little I sticky. Mean, that scene when you were like walking down the street and like being a badass. And, oh my god! Like, that was so different. That stuff we never got to do on Jane. Like, yeah. so you always had high heels on. So and right, jokes. very little, um, you know, explosives. And Although and so silly and dorky and like we're, you know, you're like the silliest. So I was like, whoa! I've never seen this side of Yael. That is so cool. It was really fun to be also I did it at the same time I like over hiatus I flew to Vancouver did a couple of episodes of Supergirl or an episode of Supergirl and then another one like a year later and and back to LA for Jane so being able to do both at the same time was amazing. I'm petitioning to get you and I to get a to do a oh. with our Supergirl characters I think it'll yes. we work that much together on Jane either. No so. we kept waiting to work together and then we barely did it. There was like a minute where I thought you were sitting hey, right. And <laughs> and then you weren't you were then all of a sudden you were like a comedic genius and they just <laughs> you out. I was like wait why, why is my character you know what's funny you know that Petra wasn't supposed to be funny at all I, didn't know. I remember the table read I remember Jenny's face one day at the table read where you were really funny it was like I don't even think it was written to be funny and you were really so yes and I remember her looking at you like oh wow <laughs> 
Well, the I funny thing like, is, like, once I was cast, she was, like, not funny, supposed to be, and very, like, sexual, right? But then once I was cast, pretty quickly, she became <laughs> really funny and, like, not very sexual. <laughs> he was hot. David is always a great director and so fun to work with him. And we have sister comes back. But you, uh, people probably like her more than, than they do you know, this D, this director, Brainy, that I've been playing these last couple episodes. So it'll be fun to have her back. It was a blast to shoot. And, uh, you know, whatever happens in this episode, I want everyone to know that uh, playing this character has been uh, the time of my life. It's been an honor. And, uh, and yeah. Anyway, it's it's been a, a wild ride, and so thank you so much, and uh, yeah, enjoy. And you're you're so insanely talented, and I feel like last season, like Brainy, like the, the amount of work and character you took on. I'm sure for the fans watching, but for us that work with you, it was like it was like watching a a legend and an expert work. It was pretty. Well, thank you. I you know thank it means a lot to me. I I. I have grown a lot as an actor throughout the course of this uh, show. And um, it's, it's a, been a great learning experience. I've learned from all of you guys from just working with our amazing cast. I've learned just so much about an act, be, an acting and, and the type of person that I want to be uh, learning by example. From Yay! Hey guys, can you see me? Oh my God. I'm in the middle of my, It's a little choppy, but I know that people are going to be so happy that you're here. <laughs> I'm going to try to turn turn it up real quick. And, okay, uh, that's working. Okay, I'm not going to move. I'm literally yes. by a Don't tree. Don't move. Okay. I'm, the I'm, tree has, like, awesome reaction. Yes, Hi. my tree is working. Hi. How, how are, are you? Doing? Yeah, but for the people, the 7,000 people watching, how are you? Yes, I'm I'm good. I'm good. It's um it's been amazing to be able to be home and be with my family and uh this is the most time that I have actually spent with my family like face to face in probably the past several years. So wow. yeah, so in a way it's kind of like, you know, I, I'm trying to count my blessings and and see things as positively as I can. Are you homeschooling? We we had Odie on here a second ago. I don't know if you saw, but Odie was in bed with a tequila and a sun hat while her child was outside playing. And she was like, it's, I'm figuring it out. Oh no, did we lose you? Oh, do you hear me? Oh no, you're cutting out. Hang on, I'm doing my best. Hang on. It's the tree. It's the tree. You're I'm, so sweet. I'm trying to find a different spot. To try to tree. I know you have This is no, no joke. Internet. This is like, I'm you're sitting so in the middle sweet of the to come on. It's I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I love. Yeah. I appreciate you coming on. I think it'll mean try. that you came on okay. and tried. Let me see if I can just. I'm literally squatting on the ground. I'm not peeing though, so it's it's a it's a different kind of squat. Listen, there's no drug. Uh, this is a safe. No, no. I feel I feel good. I feel good um, talking about uh, peeing in my yard uh, with thousands of people. Um, yeah, I think you asked about homeschooling, right? Yes. Yes, yes. We've been we've been homeschooling. Um, I've been teaching the girls uh, pretty much. So Annie is fourth grade and Tay is seventh. So I'm learning school all over again and about play tectonics and I'm learning about the different kind of poetry. And uh, yeah, it's been um, educational on my part and I learned my strong suits and where I need to study more. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they've been, they've been doing great. They've been get such good sports about it. And uh, I'm very, I'm very proud of them. It's not, it's, it's tough, especially doing the, both at the same time. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm grateful. So making, making the most out of it. <laughs> it's an adventure. That's for sure. I think a, a lot of people are having a hard time in quarantine, but moms have it the realest, right? Like, Managing. Oop. Poor Kai. Can you hear me? 
I love you so much for doing this, even though you're in the middle of nowhere right now. Let's see if she comes back. Hey, I'm like, going or send any messages before we lose you? Well, let's try. Let's try one more time. Let's say our goodbyes to Kyler, and then we'll 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 get John Cryer on. Lex Luther. Let's see if we can join. So nice of Kyler to do this. She's having internet problems all day. She, I was gonna FaceTime her in, but it's kind of cooler when you guys can um, can see him alive and she can see what you guys are saying. It says it's connecting. So grateful that you guys all showed up to you guys. Um, it says it's connecting to Kai while that's happening. See if I can get um, she's in the middle of nowhere. So she was squatting by a tree trying to come on and talk to people. <laughs> Poor thing. And the oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. That's a shame. So what have you been up to the last couple of months besides? I can say you know we have um have um have some time off you know last most times of most yes uh everyone come follow the social media handle is on instagram is at cw superman and lois and on twitter it's at cw superman and, and, and on a flash assuming we start filming when we're supposed to start but who knows these days i just feel like it's very much put one foot in front of the other and take it day by day mm -hmm. and hopefully everyone's staying safe and and healthy I want, I want to ask you one thing before I, before I let you go. How is your, um, your do it at DIY home stuff going? Because you were really hardcore for a minute where you were getting up on yep. ladders. I still do that. Um, so David, David hasn't know. banned you? What? David hasn't banned you because you, you were going for it. Oh, no. He, he pretty much was like what David banned me from doing was like power tools. Like anything involving tools was becoming a problem. The paintbrush. <laughs> well, we, don't, we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. But hopefully they do now because on set, Andrea, everyone like I get, that. yeah. And I, and I get things from for Andrea in my trailer and I'm like, oh, no, no, you? different, different, the other one, the, the real, real one, the real one. Yeah. The um, real Andrea. It's, it's but how, yeah. I mean, I, I saw a lot of, I kind of posted questions for people. Um, people had some, some thoughts on obsidian. Uh, oh yeah. I feel like Kelly is constantly chasing Andrea. I, I feel like I'm constantly coming to you and being like, this isn't good. And you're like, I don't have time for you. I need you to leave. <laughs> he doesn't, she doesn't have time for anyone. Uh, she's, she's always got somewhere to go. Yeah. I don't know where. I don't know where. No idea. Uh, yeah, it's interesting because I feel like she's so that powerhouse, like that, you know, needs to be that like boss, mm -hmm. you know, and I do it a lot in the, uh, in the cat co scenes too, where it's like, I feel like there was one episode I had to yell at Melissa and I'm like, every time I, every time I stopped, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love you so much. You're so cute. You're the best thing ever. And then I was like, Burr. and so anyway, uh, but yeah. Who knows where they're they going to go? Obsidian. Not that I want to say or give anything away. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard some, I've heard some ideas. I mean, I think it's safe to say at this point, we're just not, it may be, you know, it's not what I hoped it would be. It's not as, it's not as good as I hoped. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't even know what happens tonight. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I reread it uh, for this, just so I okay. can have an idea. Um, we had some cute stuff that will still be shot in the finale uh, that, it, that is not out there yet. I don't, I don't, I don't want you to like, right, make it right, right, right. that. But we will shoot that from what I've been told uh, when we go back, which I think oh, is- Oh, really? Yes. So um, Andrea and Kelly have a really beautiful moment. Finally, there's finally a no one walks away at the end of the scene, which is nice. Oh, was it? Yeah, I do. Remember don't say. Oh, no, don't I won't say. say. I won't, no, I will say. I, but I do remember there were some really nice moments between um, Kelly and Andrea, for sure. Yeah, you're right. I, 
I know. I, 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 I wouldn't remember if I didn't reread it. And then I was like, oh, that's, that's in the last episode, which we will still, I've been told we 100% will still shoot. But it's a nice, it's a nice moment. And I think that your character um, has such a kind of evolution. And you, even though she's so tough, is so likable. Mm. You're, you're such a, you, the way in which you portray her. Yeah. Even nice. when you're like, you know, telling me off and, and storming off or telling Staz and I not to waste your time, you know? It's oh, like, yeah. oh yeah, that's right. Somebody, I think somebody on Twitter posted that and I was like, oh, oh she's mean. <laughs> it felt like that in person. That we were like, oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You sell it though. I'm like, okay, I feel like <laughs> I know what I I've chosen the weirdest pr profession for being shy and, and, and not liking talking to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then every every other episode, it's like, and then she speaks to the crowd, and then she da da da, and I'm like, oh, yay! Wait, do no you way. do you compartmentalize on set, and then just kind of think like this is family, so it's not public speaking? No, or? I mean, I guess you you just sink into the character and what the you know what you what you need to do for her. I, I leave me along, like I leave me yeah. aside, and then you kind of get into you know that you know, your art. And, and that's the fun part of what we do. You know, you just kind of die. My, my phone is dying. Yeah. Um, you kind of get into like, okay, what am I doing for Andrea, not myself? Like I leave me in the trailer, you know, I, I, I so, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun when, when you're in it, but the idea of reading it and they're like, oh, this is what you have to do. You're like, okay, one more time. Uh, but no, I, I think that and you, you do, you get, 